the Philippines, located in Southeast Asia, is well known for its vulnerability to a wide range of natural disasters, from typhoons to volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. However, tornadoes, though less infrequent, are another form of nature that occasionally strikes the country, adding to the challenge of disaster management. Tornadoes are not as common in the Philippines as typhoons, but they do occur, particularly during the rainy season and under other meteorological conditions. In Filipino, tornadoes are called ipo-ipo, meaning whirlwind. They typically form when intense thunderstorms or squalls develop, creating the conditions necessary for a column of air to rotate and descend to the ground. These tornadoes are weaker than supercells seen in other countries like the United States, but they can still cause significant damage, particularly in densely populated or vulnerable areas. Tornadoes in the Philippines tend to form in regions with highly variable weather conditions, such as central Luzon, parts of Mindanao, and other areas near Manila. The presence of high humidity combined with intense heat create an environment conductive to the formation, particularly during the warm months of the year. While tornadoes in the Philippines are often smaller than those seen in tornado-prone regions like the U.S., they have still left a mark on, the, on their country's history. Some notable events have resulted in loss of life, destruction of homes, and widespread community displacement. On August 14, 2016, a powerful tornado swept through several barangays in the town of San Miguel, Bulacan. Witnesses reported seeing a funnel cloud rapidly develop before it touched the ground, moving with destructive force. The tornado, which lasted about 10 minutes, tore roofs off of houses, top, toppled trees, and damaged numerous buildings. Several people were injured, though fortunately there were no fatalities. The local government declared a state of calamity to facilitate relief efforts. On June 25, 2019, a rare tornado struck parts of Metro Manila, affecting Quezon City and nearby areas. This particular tornado surprised residents, as such weather phenomena are uncommon in the densely urbanized area. The tornado was filmed by several people as it swirled above the city's skyline. Though it was not as strong as tornadoes that hit the rural area, it still caused damage to infrastructure, such as tearing down electrical posts and damaging small homes. No fatalities were reported, but it highlighted the unpredictability of weather patterns in the country. In May 2020, a tornado ripped through Barangay, Sto, Nino, and Dabo del Norte, Mindanao, leaving around 30 houses destroyed and several people injured. The incident occurred amid heavy rains and was linked to localized thunderstorm activity. The tornado struck suddenly and residents described it as a terrifying event, with wind speeds that lit the roofs and debris into the air. The local government again had to mobilize aid for affected areas, offering, sh offering shelter and food. In February 2021, another tornado swept through parts of Mazbate province in the Biko region. This event happened during the height of the northeast monsoon. When the winds were particularly strong, the tornado left dozens of families displaced, with some losing their entire homes. The local risk reduction office was quick to respond, distributing emergency supplies to those affected areas. The formation of tornadoes in the Philippines is usually linked to specific air atmospheric conditions. These are often influenced by tornadoes in the Philippines commonly occur as a result of localized thunderstorms during the rainy season. These thunderstorms can develop due to the intense heating of the ground combined with high levels of moisture in the air. Tornadoes sometimes form on the fringes of large tropical systems like typhoons or tropical storms. The instability in the atmosphere. The instability in the atmosphere and the strong uplifts in these systems can lead to the formation of tornadoes, especially in the outer rain bands of the storm. The interplay of the southwest monsoon and northeast monsoon creates varying weather patterns across the country, which can contribute to tornado formation when combined with other factors like high humidity and warm air. Although tornadoes in the Philippines are generally weaker than those in other parts of the world, the impact is still significant given the country's economic vulnerabilities in rural areas where homes are often made from lighter materials like wood and nipa palm. Tornadoes can quickly destroy entire communities. The sudden nature of these storms make them particularly dangerous, as there is often little to no warnings before they strike. Additionally, tornadoes in the Philippines tend to worsen existing problems, 
of poverty and displacement. Many of the areas hit by tornadoes are also vulnerable to other types of natural disasters, such as typhoons and floods, making recovery efforts more challenging. The Philippines has a strong culture of natural of disaster preparedness due to the frequent exposure to natural calamities. Government through agencies like the Natural Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council coordinates responses to natural disasters, including tornadoes. Local government units are also tasked with ensuring that communities are aware of potential hazards and are prepared to act quickly in case of an emergency. However, the unpredictability and rarity of tornadoes mean that there are often less awareness or preparedness for these specific events compared to typhoons or earthquakes. There are no nationwide tornado sirens or warnings in place. So often people rely on local advisories or their own observation of the weather to determine if a tornado is forming. As the climate changes, there may be a need for more focused attention on the potential for tornadoes to occur more frequently in the future. While tornadoes may not be as frequent or as severe in the Philippines as other natural disasters like typhoons, they are still a serious concern for many communities. With climate change influencing weather patterns across the globe, the possibility of more frequent and destructive tornadoes in the Philippines cannot be ruled out. Increased awareness, better forecasting, and more robust disaster preparedness will be key in minimizing the future impacts of tornadoes in the country.